sunshines welcome back to my channel today is a big day so if you guys are ready then let's go what's up youtube family so i just pulled up to the new warehouse uh a quick little update on the new warehouse the landlord is still scandalous uh we haven't made any improvements as of yet and yeah that's where we stand but i'm gonna go ahead and walk in there shortly we have a 148 thousand dollar shipment that arrived today the guys are outside ready to unload it before i go in there though i wanted to share with you guys importing and the struggle with importing and just give you guys like a little background on it so this shipment that just arrived was actually so, sorry the ac is like super loud uh this shipment that just arrived was actually supposed to arrive a month and a half ago which means that i've been out of one hundred and forty eight thousand dollars for longer than i was supposed to be so a month and a half a month and a half is a long time to not have been able to recoup the money that was invested in this so i was extremely frustrated and upset with the company because i paid for this shipment along with another shipment that came in on time and they were supposed to be coming together in the same container so how is it that i got one order but not the other and when i would ask questions there was like the whole run around and like oh it's coming and oh it's delayed and you know it left from a different port and how did it leave from a different port if when i initially paid for it it went in the same container like that doesn't it doesn't add up it doesn't make sense but long story short we are here now at one and a half months later i wanted to share this experience with you guys and show you guys that things happen in business that are literally out of your control there's nothing that you can do about it and you have to be okay financially to be able to withstand some of the hits that you may take so like let's say this was the only inventory i was counting on and i hadn't made any other smart business decisions and i hadn't saved any money where was i going to pull money from for the rent where was i going to pull money from for other business expenses like payroll like where was i going to pull money from if i was expecting this shipment to make money so I just want to share this experience with you guys so that you guys are always preparing your business. Obviously, you guys aren't making, you know, big business moves like this or spending this much money. Eventually, though, you will get here. So always be mindful of what you're doing and how you're spending your money because it matters, you guys. It matters how much money you're putting out and knowing how much money you can come in. Always know your numbers. Always. So I'm annoyed by it, obviously. It didn't kill me, but I'm annoyed that I had $148,000 worth of inventory on a fucking ship somewhere. Or even if it was on a ship, maybe it was still in China. And that's just um, part of, you know, what happens when doing business in China. I told you guys this is my first time manufacturing overseas. This has been a very much learning process for me and i've been sharing the journey along the way with you guys but if you guys do intend on importing product for any reason whatsoever or customizing certain products i don't know like keychains or whatever uh just know to anticipate things like this just be prepared for the worst case scenario so anyways with that said let's go in and see what 158 thousand dollars or 148 thousand dollars of inventory looks like huh let's go let me get my keys. No fui el primero Ni seré el último Pero sé que lo gozaré Pa' serte sincero Un Dios es el que te enseñó Lo que puedes hacer con mi piel Yeah, 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 yeah Baby, si se nos da, yeah, yeah Será lo que será, yeah, yeah Los dos vamos a matar, yeah, yeah Toda esa curiosidad Baby, si se nos da, yeah, yeah Será lo que será, yeah, yeah Los dos van a matar, yeah, yeah Toda esa curiosidad Solo yo sé de ese lunar Solo tú comes el pastel Con estilo siempre te vas Pero te vienes con placer Me dijiste no quiero nada Pero quieres todo mujer Baby yo te hago soñar Algo más rico que la miel Mi droga que te dé que el dicen 
Buscamos el pecado Que hay cosas que no se dicen Que la piel tú y yo juntando Baby, ¿para qué te dices? Y tú solo dices que quieres más Que matemos la curiosidad Eso hacemos Baby, si se nos da, ella Será lo que será, ella Los dos vamos a matar, ella Toda esa curiosidad Baby, si se nos da, ella Será lo que será, ella Los dos vamos a matar, ella Toda esa curiosidad yeah. Aquí viviendo roce Estamos solitos, ella son más de las doce Pegándote bien lento, baby, para que tú goces No somos algo serio, pero bien si me conoces Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, tú eres el antojo de mi vida Guys, it's really thankful. It's so hot in here. Oh, the misery. The misery. Look at me. I'm so sweaty. I'm gonna go buy these guys water because they don't have any water. So it's way too hot for them to be doing all this. And no water. Look at me. And I'm not even doing what they're doing. Un Dios el que te enseñó lo que puedes hacer con mi piel Yeah, 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 yeah Baby, si se nos da, yeah, yeah Será lo que será, yeah, yeah Los dos vamos a matar, yeah, yeah Toda esa curiosidad Baby, si se nos da, yeah, yeah Será lo que será, yeah, yeah Los dos vamos a matar, yeah, yeah Toda esa curiosidad Okay, you guys, that's a wrap. So let me show you guys. I I was gonna go through all these boxes, but I just can't do it right now. Like I need to come when I don't have my makeup done or hair down because I'm dying. Um, or like early in the morning after the gym. But here are some of the styles. I want to show you guys what the boxes look like and how much space it took up. Uh, from the upstairs so just come with me I hope that you guys enjoy these behind the scenes things and like the reality of what goes on in my life and the things that I do because I really enjoy sharing them and I hope that I mean you guys like it sorry if I'm out of breath you guys I've been like trying to go through the boxes and I'm just dead I'm dead because it's fucking hot literally there's sweat dripping down my crack can't handle it okay hold on so here's the view that's all the space it took up. So I think this downstairs area is like 4,000 or 5,000 square feet, something like that. Obviously, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. Obviously we would use it all the way to the top, but hey, this is where we're at right now. So I gotta get back to the warehouse and get to work. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on those notifications because I would love for you to become part of my YouTube family. Catch you guys next time. Ciao!